And now I have the honor to, of introducing the one of the main reasons why we're here today, celebrating South African Reconciliation Day, and none other than the Honorable Her Excellency, Consul General of South Africa. She's going to introduce herself and tell us why this is important. So honored to have you here, Consul General. Uh, thank you, Pam. Thanks to you and uh, Immigrant Magazine, to you and Charles. Thank you. It's an honor also for me to be here today. It's such a wonderful honor. You know, I was reading a lot about the Reconciliation Day and it just struck me that this year is about, you know, fighting racism, discrimination. So please share your thoughts on that and how that synergizes with the fight that we're also going through in this country. I think hate starts from within. It's a system that has to be dismantled. For South Africa to be here today, it's because we reconciled. But the problem that I've seen, especially in the United States, you don't talk about hate. You have not made it a, a law. You have not put it as a charter as well. I myself, I once came here, I faced the hate. You have faced uh, the, the discrimination, whether you call it, whether in stores, everywhere. So I think it's time for you today to stand up and rise against hate and mobilize not only communities, businesses as well, but it must also go to overflow to other places because most of the African immigrants, what I've seen, they keep quiet because they're scared of being deported, they're scared of the system that will be against them, especially women, because they know the challenges that we'll be facing. So I think for you and Charles and Immigrant Mom, because this is the best initiative, and I hope it grows further and further, not only to California, but to other states as well, to the whole US, but I want you to lead this. Hey. And I want to thank you so much for partnering with us, for finding that what we were doing was worthy of bringing South Africa to work with us and to sponsor us. We couldn't have done this without you, CG. Thank you so much, and we cannot wait to eat all the delicious food. The only thing that is missing is that I don't have what you're wearing. You're going to have to give my own. <laughs> I think for me, Pam, you and Charles, the work that you have started, don't, don't stop. The reason we sponsored it's because you came up with a unique message in the United States. And I've seen how passionate you are about this thing. You wake me up at 11 o'clock. I think your viewers must know about it. After midnight, I see your emails. Because this is, uh, I know you are from Cameroon originally, so you should know how it was. Uh, knowing you a bit, you studied in France, so you have faced these things all over the world. So this is your time to talk about it. And media is the most a powerful platform that you can use for this.